take this as permission. If you have a Twitch stream or you want to use my music in one of your videos or something, this is your permission. Go ahead and use the music. Hello, all you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic, and I thank you for joining me again today. I got some more suggestions for Blame the Rappers by Tom McDonald and Dax. So without further ado, let's check it out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a rapper, but I'm losing my respect for the genre. How many songs about Xanax and alcohol are we dropping? How many kids we gonna kill for we admit it's a problem? Probably stop if it was one of our sons or one of our daughters. We know our demographic is primarily youth. We glorify breaking the law to children in school. Kids copy what we see and imitate what we do. They'll go to jail for doing the things you thought them was cool. We put women in our videos exploiting their bodies. We'll live okay, how many people go to jail for things that rappers tell them are cool? And I also wonder how many rappers have children because I know there's quite a lot of them. Snoop Dogg's got quite a few kids. Um, didn't he have his own show for a while? It was like some reality show. He's got quite a few kids, he and his wife. Um, and yet their songs are all about partying, drinking, drugs, gang life. And yet he doesn't live that gang life anymore. He got out of gang life, he got out of the hood, and now he's a multimillionaire, as many rappers have done, the same thing. And yet they continue to sing about that. And so then little Jimmy down the streets listening to that music thinking, yeah, man, I want to be just like Snoop Dogg. Well, you want to be just like Snoop Dogg now. You don't want to be like Snoop Dogg back when he was fighting with the Crips and the Bloods. So... Uh, it all seems really hypocritical for these rappers to keep singing about this stuff when, you know, the majority of the people who are listening to it are young kids. There's us old school that like to listen to the old Run DMC, Beastie Boys, stuff like that. Um, I used to listen to Ice Cube, Ice T, and even that back then, you know, 187 on an undercover cop and you know I was just a little white girl living in the Yukon <laughs> blaring that out of my 82 Honda Prelude good times that wasn't the life I was going to lead so that's just music I listened to but the reality of it for many kids is they grew up wanting to emulate this stuff and it's really sad and nobody seems to have a problem with it it's just fun music right do. They'll go to jail for doing the things you thought them was cool. We put women in our videos exploiting their bodies while little girls around the world grab their phone and they watch it. They need a realistic role model, not just a Barbie. They see strippers and escorts, but no lawyers or doctors. Hey, hip hop, what the hell? Ha now, this is something that, um, you know, where are the feminists on this one? Uh, you don't hear anything about, about it because it's a female empowerment. You know, I watch people like JLo and Shakira and Cardi B and uh, Megan the Stallion, is that her name? Um, and even JLo, who, you know, seemed relatively tame back in the day, uh, the way she dances, I mean, she has a daughter who now apparently identifies as they and them. But, you know, this is the, this is the stuff that's pushed by the people who own them. And this is how you have to dance and this is how you have to act. And so little girls grow up wanting to emulate this behavior rather than wanting to grow up and be um, a good mother, maybe grow up and be a doctor or a lawyer, go into the military or whatever. It's female empowerment to shake your ass on stage and rub your crotch in the camera. Uh, okay. Role model, not just a Barbie. They see strippers and escorts, but no lawyers or doctors. Hey, hip hop, what the hell happened? It was power to the people, and we like that stuff. These days, you're promoting that it's fun to be an addict, so I'm asking, how could y'all write that, bruh? Yeah. You can blame the rappers when you go on, but your favorite song are about doing drugs. So what happens after? What 
wow, that is deep. Who's to blame for who they've become? Well, you can't only blame the rappers. You can blame the parents for letting the kids listen to this kind of trash. And once again, blame the parents for not guiding them in the right direction. If you're a parent who just blindly allows your child to stare at their phone on social media all day, you're complacent because not only do child predators know exactly how to get past any locking that you think that you've done on your phone, but the incessant use of social media and the highlight reel of people's lives that these children are seeing growing up thinking that all of this is normal, it's detrimental to their developing brains. Your frontal cortex is not fully developed until you're 25. Think about all these little kids in school, children with these phones who at the push of a button could find porn chat rooms of all types and can, you know, watch videos on YouTube of any music. I saw a video the other day that I can't even, I was going to react to it. And then I thought like, it's so gross that I can't, I don't even want to bring attention to it. It's the normalization of what I guess I would call sex culture. And it's these mostly men. I don't know if they got butt implants or what, but they're all pretty much morbidly obese wearing booty shorts, twerking into the camera and talking about how men will do anything for this. I mean, this is what, people listen to now. This is what children are going to be able to find and want to emulate and think that that's what's important in this life. At the end of the day, thank God I had a Brazilian butt lift and breast implants. I don't know how we protect our children from this besides being super helicopter parents, which we didn't have to be back when I was growing up. There, there was no internet. There were no cell phones. The craziest thing that you might see would be a nudie magazine that your friend's dad had hidden in the bathroom. It's gone downhill so fast that I don't know how we stop it, but I'm not letting my kids be a part of that. And I'll fight tooth and nail to let them be kids as long as possible. and a choice and if you ever get to be successful you must understand the people that you influence i swear by what you say and that the melodies you sing make wings build dreams and fill voids we got medication straight through voice some give life and some medication straight through voice he is so right it is like a medication and these people just eat it up they are zombified placated and you can get brainwashed by this culture it's like people become hypnotized and it all just becomes normal. And it is, it's a form of medication. So good, that is such a great line. Make wings, build dreams and fill voids. We got medication straight through voice. Some give life and some destroy. And yeah. even though this money seems nice, it can't come. So we must take that as a hit. That there's other things in life we should enjoy. We move mountains, we cross states. We play roles in presidential debates. So don't you try and tell me making music is for fun. And you don't care about the things that our music helped make. Man, I know I'm not perfect, but I'll change. I'm the outcome of this world and my pain. And this music is pills. And I promise this dose that you take won't make you say. You can blame the rappers when you blow up, but your favorite songs are about doing drugs. So what happens after these kids grow up, and who's to blame for who they've become? Look at that. These are the little kids right here. Man, they throw it in, <laughs> and that'll, that'll pull at your heartstrings right there. These little children being brainwashed by this kind of trash and eventually they're not 
It's like their childhood gets stolen. They should be kids. They should be out riding their bikes and at the beach building sandcastles and jumping on a trampoline and going to Taekwondo class. It seems like we're on a hamster wheel and this stuff just get, keeps getting thrown in there at us and it's like we just spin and spin and spin and spin and you can't stop it. But people like Tom and like Dax who realize that their music matters and their voices matter, they understand the importance of the music that they're putting out there. And um, man, so many don't. Ugh. It feels like Sodom and Gomorrah out there. And I'm not a prude. I swear I'm not. But once you have children, you start to see the insidious meanings behind all of this stuff. And, well, you hope you do as a parent. There's many parents out there who don't, clearly, because some of them are the performers making this music. Maybe we're at a tipping point now where people really start to realize, like, no, this is going too far here. Like, it's shut it down. No more. Who's protecting the kids if the parents aren't? It's like there's, it's just a free-for-all. that I'm embarrassed. Half of these artists can't even talk, they just mumble the lyrics. And the teenagers listen while they rebel from their parents. While the rappers tell them pop a pill by Gucci and wear it. They say screw the police, break the rules, smoke weed, buy some shoes you don't need, rep the hood in your street. All these rappers holding guns and now the kids want some. Mess around and kill a homie, you can't clean that blood. We encourage being stupid with our music and we're normalizing poor moral standards while we do it. Little boys see- That's exactly, that's exactly it. Normalizing poor moral standards. And we see this with the decay of so many families. You know, it's hard because um, kids in school and, um, you know, just remembering back to my school years, you know, if you didn't have the cool clothes and you didn't have the cool shoes, I mean, it's tough. It's tough to be a kid in school. And I know that I've kind of saved my kids from many of those issues that are really non-issues to them, thankfully. We still care that our kids look well put together they have nice things to wear but you know this is not a top priority for us as a family i want my kids to see the importance of so many other things the things that are pushed in music are all so irrelevant at the end of your life are you going to look back and say man i sure i'm glad i had those Air Jordans or I sure I'm glad I had that purse and I have friends who have closets full of purses that they don't even use closets full of shoes that they don't wear I don't know what the purpose is it's it's waste it's just compute it's just pure waste and it's the whole keeping up with the Joneses mentality I'm not perfect I'm not a perfect parent but I, I want to instill better values in my kids than what the world tells them is important. Encourage being stupid with our music and we're normalizing poor moral standards while we do it. Little boys see the way that women look on our videos and assume it's real life, project that image on little girls. It's unrealistic. If you're young and you listen, you are one in a million. You are loved, you are different. Hey, hip hop. I know life moves on, but while I'm here, how could you write that, dog? You can blame the rappers that you blow up.
Yeah, how true. You can't blame the rappers if you show up and you're rocking to that same music, right? The great imagery there, Dax, which I wanted to get into more of his stuff, Dax and Tom, um, they put really important messages out there that, you know, all of this stuff, all of this money, yeah, it's fun, but in the end, you can't take it with you. Great song, blame the rappers. Maybe it should be called blame the parents. <laughs> so thank you for this suggestion, guys. A great song. And as I always say, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.